These water containers are almost every household's livelihood. Some own more than two, some own ten. But once they've all used up their last drop of water, it's as if they've never had tin containers. Although providing service of clean water to South Africans is among the essential and key priority issues for the South African government, but in some areas like Inanda, this is not the case. Other surrounding areas are lucky enough to have rivers close by, although it is not clean enough to consume. But for those who don't have a river like the others, say that even a brook would be a blessing for them. Each morning this boy is forced to use up as little water as possible in order to save up for the next day as well as the next. His grandmother, Tola Gelenduli, says the municipal truck which delivers water comes once in a while, of which she says is not enough, as she lives with four grandchildren who have to bath, eat, wash, and clean up using water. Each house pays three of these water meters, but what's their use if taps are still running dry? South Africa is known as a water-rich country, but where is all the water going to if schools can still afford to close if taps are dry, leaving children thirsty and without an education? I'm Skulile Ngobo for Voices of Africa in Nanda.